gorgeous. Hello, welcome back to Shepherd's Pie. This is the second part of a vlog where we took Fable on a three day holiday. If you want to see the first part, I'll put the link in the card up the top right or in the description below. And it's well worth watching it because we did some really cool training at night in a car park. It was really cool. Uh, we made a lot of progress, it was really fun. Anyway, so watch that video, but this video is super, super exciting because we actually take Fable to the beach, not once, but twice. <laughs> because we don't live near the beach, so when we come down to the coast, we always want to go to the beach. So that's what we did, and Fable absolutely adores going to the beach, and so do we. So anyway, I'd like you to watch the video. Alright, alright, enough of that. Let's go to the beach. that we took her to two beaches. We did take her to two beaches. That's Misha. Um, we did actually take her to two beaches, but not in this vlog. So the second vlog, I'll put the, the other beach trip. What's really cool is when we first arrived at the beach, um, she was terrified of the waves and I knew she was, she has been scared of the waves for a long time. So I knew she was scared of the waves. So it was no surprise that she was scared of them this time, except because I really want her to be okay with being in the waves. <laughs> She's off. So I was just working on it with just positive reinforcement and I didn't want to force her in because if you know anything about dogs, if you try to force them into something they're not comfortable with, almost certainly just make the, the fear worse. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, Mishy, that's enough. Sometimes you kind of have to force them into it to get them over it, but in this case I knew that if I forced her into it, it was just going to make her more afraid. So I was using positive reinforcement to try and tempt her. These dogs are playing in the background very roughly. So I was using positive reinforcement to try and tempt her into getting into the waist so that she can get over the fear. I don't really think I was counter conditioning that much, maybe a little bit, but it was mostly just the food was tempting her into the waves and then she got over the fear because she realized that the waves were completely fine. I stopped up with, cut up Devon. Irresistible treats. Okay. Fable's been not a fan of the waves, so let's see how she acts now. I'm not going to force her into, into the water. I'm just going to see if she'll come in. Good girl. Baby, you want to come in? Oh. <laughs> no, she doesn't want to come in the water. Come on. Come on, baby food. Good girl. Come on. Let's see, waves coming up. Oh no. Baby. Oh no. This should come in the water. You coming? Come on. Oh, yes. Good girl. See that? She's thinking. The food's obvious. Yes. Beautiful. Good girl. Come on. Aww. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes, good girl. Beautiful girl. Yes. Yes. Aww. She really wants to. Good girl. Come on. Yes. Oh, good girl. I think I got that on camera. Good girl. Good girl, this is the first time she just let a 
Girl. Oh, she wants to she wants to play with that dog. Fable! Yes! Good girl! Yes! She's still very interested in that dog there. Here! Tick tick! There she is, walking along. So you have to excuse, got no makeup on because I just took a shower and my hair's not brushed. So you'll have to excuse the messy hair and I'm actually in my jammies. Um, and it's about 5.30 now. I'm just taking her out for a, a, a little walk and it's such a beautiful afternoon. Did you just see that there were cracks? She just saw that there were cracks. Let's go! 
and off she goes. Baby, wait. <laughs> Alright, let's go play frisbee. Let's go. Fable, are you ready for some frisbee? You ready? You ready? You ready? You are frisbee. Get that toy baby. Good girl. This is hard to do one-handed, you have no idea. Woohoo! Good girl! Good girl! See if we can toss one one-handed. Whee! She got it! Yay! Come on, Fable! Come on! Oh, she got distracted! Uh, I think I dropped some food. So having a dog who is super food motivated is A++ in most cases, except when you're running around in a field with a frisbee and you drop food out of your pocket and your dog finds the food because she has some sort of a freakishly, freakishly good nose and she can smell food from 10 miles away. And then it's somehow when she's running back with the frisbee, she smells it and she stops to get the food. Do you love me? You wanna give me a kiss? Oh, you tired now? You haven't done any work. It's gonna have to be vlog footage because I don't have, don't have anybody to film for me. So let's get the frisbee out. Uh, oh, Drat, she's after a rabbit. Hmm, she's never seen rabbits before. This is interesting. Here she is. Fable! Faby! Completely ignoring me. Come here! Come here! Come on! There she is. Faby! She likes that rabbit. Is this the first time she's ever seen a rabbit? Oh boy, she's seen another one, I think. Okay, this is not good. Hey, Fable, Fable, yes. Good girl. All right, catch the puppy. That's interesting, that's the first time she's ever seen a rabbit. I've never seen her chase animals, except wait, we have kangaroos on our property, but I've never seen her chase kangaroos. So Fable, Fable. Good girl. So, I mean, see, the free. This is the thing, right? If I had her e collar trained, she, I would never have to be afraid of her running off after a, can a rabbit or a kangaroo. Oh, this is so controversial. But I've got to say what I actually believe in. I actually believe that e collars are really good for dogs. People who are really against them would say that it was my fault she chased that because she was off leash and there was a potential for rabbits, but actually I had zero idea there were rabbits out here. We are in a fenced yard. I thought she was safe to go run free. You know, that's the thing is that we make mistakes. We're humans, we make mistakes. And it's when those mistakes happen, that's when, or when the dogs make the mistakes, because no matter how well we train our animals, they can still make mistakes because they have a mind of their own. So I personally believe in putting safeguards in place. That, that, that incident right there was, one of the reasons I really truly believe in them because if she yeah anyway I know this is controversial but I have to say what I believe and well I don't have to say what I believe I want to say what I believe um, so I'm sorry I, I know that's controversial I know people are gonna hate me for that but it's just the truth see the thing is yeah anyway anyway let's get back to the video I really I didn't want this to be about controversial ideas like this it's just that I happened to catch it on camera when she ran away after a, after a rabbit. And I have to say that there's no way, at least not that I know of, if you know of a way, tell me. I want to know that can solve this issue um, without punishment, then please tell me. But I cannot logically see a way that there would be to train an animal without punishment, not to chase something like a rabbit, which is in their DNA to chase, unless you have something that is worth more to the dog than the rabbit. For Misha, if, um, for instance, she loves toys so much that a, a toy will probably, if I can catch her before she's in a full on chase, will probably recall her off chasing a kangaroo. But for Fable, she's just not that toy motivated and there's no way in the world food is gonna call her back no matter how food motivated she is and she is very food motivated. There's just no way that she's going to recall off a, off a rabbit for food unless there is some special way you can do it in which case please tell me because I want to know. Anyway, that's my rant about e-collars and the fact that they should be legal to, for the dog's own safety 
and there are many other reasons why I think they should be legal, but that's just one of them. Enough about that subject. Let's get back to the video because this is not meant to be a video where I make enemies. This is meant to be a video where we have fun with my dog. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm, I'm going to put the third part up pretty soon, hopefully. We go to another beach um, and you can see how the training we did on this, this first beach translated to the second beach because you get to see how she reacts to the waves in that one. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it. Tell me if you have comments about what I was saying about e-collars. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.